Rendre grâce à Dieu, dont l'infinie beauté nous a permis de voir ce jour heureux pour notre peuple. En effet, c'est avec beaucoup de fierté et d'espoir que je viens de signer le texte de la Constitution adopté par le peuple lors du référendum du 18 juin 2023, dont la Cour constitutionnelle a proclamé les résultats définitifs le 21 juillet. Kano Asimi Goita, born 1980, is a Marian military officer who has been interim president of Mali since 28 May 2021. Goita was the leader of the National Committee for the Salvation of the People, a military force that seized power from former President Ibrahim Bokaba Keita in the 2020 Malian coup d'etat. Goita later took power from Bar Ndau after the 2021 Malian coup d'etat and has since been declared interim president of Mali. The son of an officer of the Marian Armed Forces, he was trained in the military academies of Mali and notably attended the Paitani Military Ducati and the Joint Military School in Kolikolo. He is married to Lala Diaro, who is a member of the Fula people. Goita served as a colonel in the Autonomous Special Forces Battalion, the Special Forces Unit of the Marian Armed Forces. He heads the Marian Special Forces in the center of the country with the rank of colonel. He is thus confronted with the jihadist insurgency in Mali. In 2018, he met Mamadi Dumboya from Guinea in Burkina Faso during a training session organized by the U.S. Army, which was a SAR reserved for the region's special forces commanders. Both he and Mamadi Dumboya would later launch military coups against their governments. Goita received training from United States, France, Germany and had experience working with the United States Army Special Forces. served as the leader of the National Committee for the Salvation of the People, a group of rebels who overthrew Ibrahim Babaka Bakar Keita in the 2020 military coup d'etat and have pledged to initiate new elections to repress him. Because of this pledge, the economic community of West African states, ECOWAS, pressured Mali's ruling junta for the country to be led by a civilian. He was succeeded by Bah Ndaw. On 21st September, Goita was named vice president by a cool group of 17 electors, with Bang Dao being appointed president. He was appointed vice president of the transition on 21st September 2020, a position he was to have held for 18 months until new elections. He took the oath of office on 25th September 2020. On 1st October 2020, the Mali transition leader was published where it was specified in response to the request of the ECOWAS that the vice president in charge of the defense and security issues would not be able to replace President Bar. May 2021, Goita was involved in the 2021 Malian coup d'etat, after which he seized power. President Ndao and Prime Minister Mokta on Owani were detained. Goita claimed that Ndao was attempting to sabotage the transition to democracy and committed to elections in 2022. Daku was instigated by Goita's claim that Ndao failed to consult him about a cabinet reshuffle. It was alleged that one of the motives for the latest coup was the removal of Colonel Sadio Kamara as defense minister. Kamara was appointed ag again as defense minister by Goita upon taking of On 
28th May 2021, the Constitutional Court declared him interim president of Mali. The court ruling stated that Goita should carry the title president of the transition head of state to lead the transition process to its conclusion. On the same day, he said that he would name a prime minister from the M5 RFP coalition. After escalating months of tension, ECOWAS agreed to shut its borders to Mali and to put an embargo on them. Even if we regret the illegitimate, illegal and inhuman nature of certain decisions, Mali remains open to dialogue with the economic community of West African states to find a consensus. Goita response on television. He would pardon 46 soldiers from Ivory Coast, it was announced on television. They were sentenced in December 2022 before being released in 2023. On June 23, 2023, a constitution referendum took place in where 97% of Malian people who voted approved a new constitution. One month after that, Mali adopted a new constitution. This new constitution allows Goita government and has power to dissolve parliament. Aliens that it can stop Islamic insurgency. In July 23rd, 2023, Goita attended the 2023 Russia African Summit in St. Petersburg and met with Russian President Vladimir Putin.